short stories really came together fast. I wrote pretty much all the material within a year, which was really fast for me. I'm always attracted to people that struggle. In short stories, I think it, there's a lot of stuff about our ability to overcome struggle. Like on the first track called Moving On, it's about moving on. It's about, you know, getting your life together. It's been a while since I've seen you around this town. And the chorus is, you know, so long, baby, I'm gone. You'll never see me again. And it's sort of, sort of about, it's about, it's about healing. It's about moving on. So The first record was on Duke Street Universal and, and uh, it yielded really four songs that did really well for us. Towards the end of that record, on a personal front, things did not go well. We split up, my wife and I. I put my whole, I had to, my career came to a halt. Like writing a song wasn't more important than raising my children. I always really, really strove to have a secure and intact family life for my children. Short stories, there's a healing in it. It was the best time I ever, ever, ever spent with my children. And that's the story of his life. I got this record, Dirt Farmer. It just it blew me away. It was the first record I'd heard probably since Mule Variations by Tom Waits that I just went, wow, this is a great record. And, and it was instantaneous. I, I said to myself, I have to record at least some of this. Um, at Levon's. It's like a state-of-the-art studio in, in an old barn. The acoustics are great, very much like the place we're in now. One of the things that we did do in this record is we figured if the three of us in the band can't play it, it's not going to go on the record, and it was completely acoustic. Mandolin, banjo, tambourine, whatever that's going to be, and it's pretty much live. Ben was a song that when I first started, it went like this. Benny was a good kid, grew up without a father. It's a true story about a guy, Ben, who I knew. He grew up without a father. You could see the struggle in his eyes. So I thought, well, you know what? This is like, I got like the galloping beat. Roger, my drummer, basically said, I hate it. And I thought, I'm gonna change the timing from four, four, like one, two, three, four. I thought I'm gonna put it in six, eight. So I did this. Benny was a good kid. Grew up without a father, never had much money, never really cared. At that point, I played it on my cell phone and the car was driving. Roger, what do you think of this? Roger loved it. So I knew it was on the right track with the song. And there's a line in that song that I really like. Yesterday is gone forever, tomorrow maybe never. All we got that's left is now is today. That, because that's all you have, right? So no one ever knows it's kind of like it. I met this wonderful girl. It was the first healthy relationship I'd ever been in in my entire life. I, I wrote a song about her on the record called Kate, and no one ever knows is kind of the bookend. And so it's basically about absorbing the moment, understanding what that means and the value in that. So uh, yeah, no one ever knows. Music means something to me. I play it because it chose me. Nobody misses you more than me.